Good morning and welcome to sunny Arizona where the temperatures are 78 degrees, fair skies, and sunny out. Gotcha, April Fools. My friends, welcome to the hills of Maplewood. No other place that I'd want to be than right here. Regardless of the fresh snows that we've just received over the last couple of days, here on the 1st of April. Yeah, God still is in charge. And there isn't much we can do but enjoy this beauty that God has created for us. So here we are, this Friday, April 1st, I know some of you may, may have uh, done an April Fool's joke or may have play, been played on with an April Fool's joke. But this is no April Fool's. I am here in the hills of Maplewood. As always, a delight of mine to be with you. So here we are on our journey through Lent as we are just finishing up the fourth week of Lent. And so this morning, I want to bring this text to you. A text that is coming from Luke 22, verses 27 through 28. And it reads like this. A great number of people followed Jesus, and among them were women who were wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. But weep for yourselves and for your children. Do not weep for me. Jesus was giving words of encouragement for people of not understanding of what was taking place, what was going to happen, what was going to appear before them as Jesus journeyed towards his cross. And it was there that he was going to suffer and die on our sins. We have talked about this over the past four weeks as we have journeyed from cross to cross. Individuals and what they were thinking and feeling of the biblical times and such. But here we find these women these women that were weeping and wailing for Jesus for reasons we don't know. You know, it is the women that on that resurrection day <laughs> that actually fully come to understanding what had taken place. And it was them that went out and shared the good news. So as we continue our journey through this Lenten season, as we recognize the purpose and the meaning of the cross, may we weep for what he suffered, for what he endured for you and for I. May we weep for that so that on that day, on that glorious day that we are heading towards, that our tears will be dried and we will shout for joy. But in the meantime, we will journey to the cross. Blessings to you, my friends, on this April 1st from the hills of Maplewood. God's peace.